Hi everyone, welcome to week six of your Advanced Computers 2 course. This week we are beginning chapter three on Excel charts. So this is all about how we use charts and Excel in conjunction with each other. So this particular PowerPoint has 31 slides, but we are only covering up through slide 19. So just make yourself a note of that. We're only going up through slide 19, so about half of the chapter again. Um, so let's kind of take a peek at what we have to expect this week and next. Um, we're going to look at selecting a data source, and we'll talk a little bit more about that once we get into that topic. Um, we're going to look at choosing a chart type moving, sizing, and printing a chart, adding chart elements, and then the following week we're going to go ahead and look at formatting those elements, applying styles and colors, modifying the data source, and creating and customizing spark lines. So let's look um, at some chart basics first. Um, what is a chart? A chart is just a visual representation of some sort of data. So the, the visual representation can be different depending on what kind of data we have to to show. Um, so the, the important thing to remember is how important it is to choose the right type of chart to go along with your data. So you don't want to just use anything. You want to make sure that you choose wisely so that it goes with what it is you're trying to show. So you want to make sure that you are looking for specific elements. Um, the chart area um, so the actual chart and the graphical representation of those different values, um, um, the data series itself, um, that plot area, um, the X and Y axis, so the horizontal and the vertical borders of your chart, um, your different category axis, so in other words, the name or the label that identifies the data, um, then the actual values of the data, so is it going by tens, twenties, is it, is it something else, is it words, um, you know, colors, well, what is it? So all of those things um, are important. And then, of course, the legend, which kind of gives you the how-to um, as far as reading the data in the chart. So all of these are parts of the chart that you have to take into consideration um, when you're getting ready to choose your chart type. So these are just some of the most commonly used charts. It's not the only things that are out there, but um, this is the most commonly used. Um, the column chart is just what it sounds like. It's going to display the data in columns. Um, the height of the column represents the value. So the, the higher the column, the, the larger the value is typically how a column chart is set up. Um, and then a bar chart is similar to a column, except for in this case, it's bars. So they go left to right instead of up and down. Um, so again, the wider the bar, the longer the bar, the larger the value. Um, the line chart is going to have um, the data where it's, it's looking at trends more than likely, usually at, over time. Um, and you're going to see, you know, line, the, the, the different um, plots, ca uh, the categories um, dotted and then connected with the line. And then, of course, the pie chart or, you know, the circle graph is going to show all different types of data and then the sum. So you're going to see, like, you can either do it by totals, like dollar values or percents, things along those lines. So... The rest of what we're going to look at um, this week is how to actually create the chart. So again, it goes back to what are we trying to show, right? We, we can't just use any chart for every data. Um, different pieces of data are going to be better shown in different types of charts. So the first thing you want to do is select the data. Um, and if you do a quick analysis, it's going to kind of give you a quick little blurb as to what are the different ones that are going to look best. So you can actually kind of slide back and forth along the different types of charts so you can see what it would look like without actually finishing it. So it'll give you a really good way of, of getting a quick overview um, in order to decide what chart is going to work best for your data. And then once you've picked that, then you can click the little thumbnail to actually pull it up. 
So it's going to, um, you know, kind of show you how to do that and um, then what the results are once you've done that. So keep in mind that even if you choose, for example, a column chart, okay, here's one type of column chart, but there's more than one kind. You can have a regular column chart or you can have a cluster where it's going to show several different pieces of information. Um, Here's another example of where you've got several pieces of information. Um, you know, one's for 2010, one's a projection for 2020, things like that. Then you can also stack them. So you can put the information one on top of each other. So just because you're looking at a column chart doesn't mean you have to stick with the old, you know, plain Jane, one column shows this type of thing. You can mix and match and, and make it look whatever way is most appropriate for your particular data. Same goes with the bar charts. We can do it the same way. We can compare two things together. Um, we can do a line chart where we compare several different things. Again, we've got different colors for the lines so that we can look at trends over all different types of categories. Um, and then, of course, the pie chart. Um, and we can do lots of cool things with the pie chart. We can explode a piece of the pie chart so we can, you know, highlight one particular area if that's what our focus is for the data, things like that. Um, and then we're going to kind of go through and look at some of the uh, ways to change the charts, um, how to go from one type of chart to the other um, once you've picked one. And, um, you know, even some of those little specialty types of charts you're going to look at this week. So as you go through this, if you have any questions, please make sure that you reach out to me. Have a great week.